Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for your time. 2005, remember the mobile phone players that were there? Ericsson, Panasonic, Nokia, Motorola. What you did with the mobile phone then was make a phone call and send an SMS. And that would have been considered an advanced use to send an SMS. Somewhere in 2005, Apple decided daringly to get into the mobile space. They had to do something that changes the look of the market. They made the mobile phone something else, and for the lack of another name, called it smartphone. So people call it smartphone, which is the iPhone. The critical component in the iPhone is the App Store and the Music Store. That effectively extended the functionality of the iPhone or the phone to hundreds of thousands of other things I can do with it. How much did that cost Apple? Nothing. They effectively had tens of thousands of developers initially, which grew to hundreds of thousands of developers, extending the functionality of their product. And moreover, Apple is making revenue from those developers. Not only not paying them, they're actually taking money from them. The model was replicated by Google, Amazon, and seems to be going into multiple industries. In reality, I am not anymore selling products to my customers. I am selling my customer base to product providers. And banks and brokerage firms have customer base. How can they sell them to product providers? What we are going to show you today is our equity trading screen that has TradeNet Store in it. TradeNet Store is similar to App Store in that it allows multiple providers of products and content to be presented to your customers for which you make a cut on the revenue. Would you kindly switch us to the laptop, please? That looks like a trading screen. What it doesn't show clearly here is what I'm going to explain. That what you see here is seven apps. On the very top, there is a ticker app that ticks prices. Below that is another app which ticks executions. And then on the left, you have a market watch. Below that is the detailed stock information app that displays the detailed stock information. Then you have a chart on the right. You have an app that displays market by price and another one that, that displays the order concentration per price, how many orders for each price that's being presented. These apps are separate from their content. This means the market watch screen can take content from one, two, three, or multiple providers. When those providers send content to your customers, you make money. Let alone the increased stickiness of a customer to your website or trading workstation. Today, customers come to, you, to your trading workstation to do mostly two things. Execute an order, look at the market. Pretty much what they do. Make a phone call, send an SMS. Many brokerage firms around the world, they try to make things fancier, um, more appealing, more colorful, and so on. But essentially, these are the two things that customers do. The apps in TradeNet trading screen are linkable. This means I can bring a functionality from a provider A, link it with a functionality from provider B using color coding. So now I look at another stock, and you see the market by price screen reflecting what the first app is doing. The market watch is very versatile. As an app, you can sort with any column. 
You can change columns. You can also filter what you want to see. You uh, can look at a certain market or a certain watch list or a certain customer or a certain portfolio. Choose from there. You can also group. For example, I'll group per market so all the stocks of a certain market appear together. That's a functionality of that app independent of the content. Also, the functionality of the trading screen. On the left side, you will find four tabs that are hidden. One of them is the first one is top symbols, which displays the top symbols in a certain market. The, 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 from the bottom, you have the sales ticket monitoring, which is the orders that are placed in the market, and I can drill down in any one of them by double-clicking on it to see the order details and the fill details. I can see the customer position. If I'm a dealer, of course, I will look at my customer position, see his holding, valued in different currencies, in multiple markets. Now, the interesting part about this trading screen, in addition to it being so flexible, because every user can design his own workspace, save it the way he likes, is that it costs starts from $5 a month per user. I hope nobody from Reuters or Bloomberg is here. Of course, I'm not comparing this. We're not comparing this with Reuters and, and Bloomberg. But think with the possibilities of third-party tools and content embedded in this screen, how far you can go with it. It's very, very synonymous to the iPhone and the App Store and how far now you can, how much you can do with the phone. I had planned to finish early to give you more time with beer, but it's my time. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed the show and enjoy the beer. Thank you.